Okay, I finally finished the script. Oh, it's about damn time. I think I'll treat myself another root beer. I think I deserve one. Yeah. What's up, AMF? How you doing? By the way, you got a root beer. Ow! What was that for? And this was my root beer, asshole! Well, now it's just an empty bottle. Well, anyways... Where have you been? Me and the Duke have been trying to track you down for God who knows! So... Explain to me, TKO, where have you been? Well, it turns out someone had a grudge on me and set my house on fire. Well, lucky I'm fireproof, though. Wait, you're fireproof? No, but apparently he wasn't either. Wait, you just said... Oh, never mind. Anyways, me and the Duke have been trying to get a hold of you for some time now. And since you're here, when are you planning on doing your Barbie review? Well, do you mind if I do it here? Why do you want to do it at my house? Because my house got burnt down, you asshole! Well, you can get your ass out of my house and stop drinking my root beer! Holy shit, you got here fast! Put the gun down, AMF, before you hurt yourself. And by hurting yourself, I mean me shooting you in the face. Okay. Okay, it looks like I don't have much of a choice, so, uh, let's make a deal. I will let you review your Barbie movie in my house if you agree to buy more root beer. How does that sound? You drive a hard bargain, buddy. It's a deal. Right. Oh, thank God! So whenever you guys hear the word Pegasus, what is the first thing that comes to mind? Nope! Nope! None of that! That does not exist here! What about the Greek mythology about a warrior and a winged horse slaying the Chimera and fighting the Amazons? No? How about a story about a winged horse and her little sister trying to save their hometown because a wizard turned everyone to stone because he can't lose his virginity? your minds? We're talking about Greek mythology getting screwed up here. I mean, this is probably the reason why most people have failed that class anyhow. TKO, don't even bother trying to explain, because Greek mythology has nothing to do with this movie, except with the name Pegasus. Shut up, AMF. This is my review. And quick question, why can't I do the review in the usual spot? This may be your review, but this is still my house. The only time you get to sit here is when I'm doing the review. Now be quiet over there, I'm playing some Zelda! Whatever, but why is it pink? Can't you use like a more manly color like blue, red, gray, or something? Please don't say gray! I don't want any Fifty Shades of Grey jokes in the comic section. Also, I keep asking my grandpa to paint the room, but 
but he must have a very short memory because he keeps on forgetting to go to the store to pick up some paint. One, you can just buy the paint yourself, whatever color you want, and you can paint this room yourself. Two, Fifty Shades of Grey, never watched it, never read it, never gave a shit. Anyways, on to the review, this is Magic of Pegasus. So unlike the previous Barbie movies, where Barbie would be talking to her little sister about life problems, here, we just skip right to the point of the movie. And thank God, too. Like, seriously, do you have any idea how annoying it was? Like, what was the whole point into any of those stupid scenes? AMF, my review. Anyways, we see that our hero of this movie, Annika, is not in her room like a good little girl, Instead, she's outside skating, and because of this, the whole kingdom goes into a panic. While skating, Annika bumps into a polar bear cub. Oh, don't be afraid. <gasps> don't tell me you're cold. How is that possible? I mean, polar bears cannot get cold. I mean, they live in the Arctic for crying out loud. In fact, the reason they don't get cold is because under all that white fur is dark skin that keeps them warm. The only reason it's cold is probably because it's sick. At least that's the only reason that I can come up with. Good point, AMF. Good point. Thank you. So Annika goes back home with the polar bear and her parents are relieved to see her home. And by relieved, I mean they freaked the fuck out on her. And here I thought my mom was overprotective. AMF, my review. Sorry, I can't help myself. So because of their constant worrying, Annika's parents decide to forbid Annika to ever step outside of the castle ever again. What kind of parents are they? They're overprotective and then there are assholes. Like, come on. Forbidding your child to ever step out of their home? Come on! AMF, do you have parents? Yes. Did they ever hug you? No, why? Uh, no, no reason. I think I just found out why he's always so grumpy. What was that? Nothing! So even though Annika is forbidden to ever step out of the castle, that doesn't stop her from going skating with the locals. But not before picking out a dress, which the polar bear apparently has an opinion. Why did the polar bear sound like it had an orgasm? AMF, seriously, if you keep this up, we're going to be stuck here for hours. Well, then how far are we into this movie? About ten minutes. Ten minutes?! I feel your pain. So after sneaking out of the castle, which is seriously lacking in guards, like seriously, you would think that the king and queen would, you know, tighten up security? At least assign guards to her door? But nope, nope, they could not be bothered. And because of that, Annika easily escapes. So while Annika is dancing with the locals, a wizard named Wenlock comes in and demands Annika's hand in marriage. Annika, reasonably, says no because she just met the man. So he retaliates by turning everyone to stone. But before Annika can make up her mind, a pink talking horse with wings comes in and saves her. But not before Wenlock giving her a warning. You'll be back, princess. I'll give you three days before my spell becomes unbreakable. Marry me by then, or they stay like this forever. So the flying horse, and yes, that is the Pegasus, takes Annika to a refuge in the sky where she can rest. I thought Pegasus was a male, not female. It's debatable, AMF. Anyways, it is here that we find out about the origins of Pegasus. It turns out that the Pegasus was once the first daughter of the king and queen. And just like Annika, after she turned 18, Wenlock showed up and attacked only to turn her into a horse that we now know. Which basically explains why they're so overprotective. 
So the children decide that the only way to defeat Wenlock is by getting all three pieces of the Wand of Light. So Annika and Pegasus head out to look for the pieces and taking the polar bear cub with them. I don't see this backfiring anytime soon. Anyways, their first stop is the Forbidden Forest. Real original, guys. And not long after entering the forest, they lose the polar bear. Ha! Called it! After they get freed from a trap by just some random guy that is having a stroll in the forest, Annika goes after him. But she ends up in a giant's house, where the giant tries to cook them. But Annika tricks the giant by bragging about other giants being stronger, and escapes the giant's home. Not gonna lie, that was clever. After she regroups with the guy and the pegasus and the bear, who starts daydreaming about him, they make an important discovery. Wait, 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 wait. You mean to tell me that this measure of courage is a ribbon? You mean to tell me that this legendary wand is made from a ribbon? Now you see, this shit is why I like Zelda better. Zelda kicks ass! Agreed. So Aiden calls it all bullshit and begins to leave, but Annika convinces him to help out with the idea of a second chance. They then move on to search for the gem of ice lit by hopes of eternal flame. Just rolls right off the tongue, doesn't it? But wouldn't the fire melt the ice? Did they not think that when they made this movie? It's symbolic, AMF. What does that mean? It means it doesn't have to make sense. Then why make a movie if it doesn't make sense? My review, AMF! Oh god, I'm so confused! They start by visiting a gem dealer to find some answers. So after they gain the info they need, they move on to find the mountain that's supposed to have the gem. But they have to stop because of a storm and they need to make camp. When they wake up, they instantly find the mountain. Amazing. Our last day. Our last hope. Julieta. Yes! That's it! Hope's eternal flame. What says hope more than the dawn? And the gem. See how the sun shines on the ice? Really? You mean to tell me that the flame of hope refers to actual hope? Like their last hope? Like how Luke Skywalker is the new hope because he is the last Jedi? Or how the Triforce of Courage refers to, you know, actual courage? It took them this long to realize that the gem of hope is just hope in general? How fucking stupid are these morons? How can they get anything done if they're so dense? Like, this- TKO, I'm trying to- No, find it's Zelda. stupid! temple for me. You're welcome. <sighs> now that I've played some Zelda, I'm good. So please, proceed. So now, they just need to get over the mountain. So what do they do? And that's the end of the review. They fall to their deaths, they're complete failures, this movie sucked, they call me TKO later. <laughs> Fuck. So they fly over to the mountain's peak and find the entrance by reading... Beware. Take only what you need 
but never from greed. Yeah, that. So after they cross the bridge of Khazar Doom and... Okay, how is the horse walking on that narrow path when those two have to hug the wall? Well, anyway, they find the gems. But when they got what they need... Uh-oh. Oh, I should have known. Shiver, no! That bear was gonna fuck everything up. I called it. But they escape untouched and make camp while worrying about the Ring of Love. In an attempt to forge a ring, Annika asks Aiden why he needs a gem. My parents trusted me with all they had. I thought I could make more. Before I knew it, it was all gone. Wait, if Aiden needed the gem in order to sell it for money, wouldn't that still be considered greed? Well, anyway. Instead, Brietta gives them her tiara and... But you'll never get it back. Let me use my sword. It's our kingdom. Our parents. I want to do it. I love them. <gasps> A ring of love. Nobody said the ring had to be for your finger. <sighs> I don't even know what to say about that. I mean, it's just so cheesy and so rushed, too. I mean, just take like a half ring piece of metal, say I love something, and then poof! I swear, they did not put enough effort into this movie. So after they forge the wand, well, more like Scepter, they break the spell on Brietta. Uh, I don't believe it. You're back. Wait a minute, she looks like she hasn't aged a single day! She's supposed to be 18 years older than her younger sister, yet looks exactly the same age as Annika. What, did being a Pegasus make her immune to age? Anyway, but now they have another problem. Let's go home. But Annika, we're miles away and you can't fly anymore. You didn't think that far ahead, did ya? You should have thought of that before you broke the spell, you stupid bitch! So Brianna calls for help as the Sky People send them more flying horses. Then they say their farewells to Aiden. So, this is where we say goodbye. Oh, that sucks, but we got some flying to do! But Winlock catches up to them and tries to shoot them down. Oh, that barely hit ya! Jeez, they suck at flying! So Annika gets pissed off and tries to be intimidating and use the wand to destroy Wenlock. Not gonna lie, that's a little harsh for a little girl's movie. All because her sister got a bump in her head. Jeez, they're pussies! And it's not because they have one! AMF, you dumbass! There are no cats in this movie! That's not what I meant! I knew exactly what he meant. But the wand won't work, and Winlock decides that she's not worth it, and proceeds to bury her in snow. But Aiden shows up and digs her up. They then fly her to the Sky Castle so she can recover. After she wakes up, she realizes that she's almost out of time, and decides to go to Winlock's castle. Meanwhile, Winlock tried to use the Wand of Light, but it won't work for him either. It's like the wand works whenever it wants to, or works with the power of love. AMF, that is just stupid. While that's going on, the little sisters try to slow down the sunset, giving Annika more time. So the group make it to the castle entrance and, well, take a guess at how they break in. Seriously, take a wild guess. They just walk in? Nope, they fucking skate right through it. What? Wow! Just... Just wow! Like, seriously, this, this movie really wants you to focus on the skating part of this movie. Like, forget about curing your parents from their stone problem. Forget about the warlock. Forget about the staff. Forget about curing your sister about her Pegasus problem. Oh no! The, the movie really wants you to focus on the skating part! The fucking skating really wants you to focus on the fucking skating! Now, doesn't it? Hey, don't you fucking touch me! It's my review, AMF! So 
So they make it inside and try to avoid the griffin. But the griffin finds them, and Aiden fights him while Annika continues searching for the wand. As the fight continues, Aiden is pushed off a cliff. Well, that sucks, but Annika finds the wand. Only for the gem to fly off and fall off the edge, and all hope lost. Wait a minute, how did he climb up the castle so fast? Especially after he was thrown off the tower! Well, anyways, Aiden uses his ice gem to fix the wand. But Wenlock takes it. So Annika convinces Wenlock's servants to give her the wand and... Family and my people, I ask you to break all of Wenlock's spells. Destroy! So apparently breaking spells with the wand of light gives you a new pair of clothes? What? So all of Wenlock's spells breaks as Annika explains why the wand wasn't working. Hey, wait a minute. Does that count of using love to make the wand work? I guess. Ha! Called it! So everyone escapes the castle, including Wenlock and his wives. Don't be hasty! <laughs> we were married once, remember? <laughs> oh, toughen up, Wenlock! Imagine all the foursomes you could be having! AMF! Not in my review! So Annika reunites with her family. What about Wenlock? Don't worry, he has a lot of pussy to deal with. And she reunites Brietta with her family as well, and then apologizes. I owe you an apology for saying such terrible things and then speaking out. We should have told you the truth long ago. Yeah, cause that could have gone well. Well, my child. I believe it is time to tell you the truth. Did you know you had an older sister? What? I did? That's right. You had an older sister. But one day, a horny warlock showed up and wanted to marry her. I knew all he wanted was rape. So I told him to leave. And you know what he did? turned her into a horse with wings, and she flew away. And that is why we are very protective of you. Uh, Daddy? Have you been to the Gaffer's Brewery again? Do not question my drinking habits, child! I'm trying to protect your virginity here! Afterwards, Aiden faces his father and introduces Annika to him. And the movie ends with, big surprise, skating. And skating, and more skating, and even more skating. Is there anything else other than skating? And done. So, that was the magic of Pegasus. And I can tell you one thing about it is that it's just it completely horseshit. Like, seriously. The whiny princess, the cold bear, the lack of security, and the flying horses, and the fucking skating. Like, oh my god, don't not even get me started with the motherfucking skating. The skating was practically the center of the movie, and not the Pegasus or its mythology. Feeling bored? Go skating! Feeling mad that your parents are being overprotected of you? Go skating! Trying to get into a wizard's castle? Go skating! Want to spend time with your boyfriend? Go skating! Everything about this fucking movie is fucking skating! Okay, AMF, okay. We get it. Calm okay. down, buddy. Calm down. Sorry. I just... I just had to get that out of my chest. Okay. Well, with all that said, I guess there's nothing else left to say about this movie. So, I'm gonna end it there. So remember, everyone, they call me TKO. I'm AMF. And this has been... Revolution, Revolution Reviews. Now, what do you say we go play some Zelda? Sure, let's go. Right. All right, bottom of the well. All right, so let's get going. Yes, Just I know. Just onto that thing. Yes, I know that. I've been in this game like many times.
Jump down the ladder. Just drop it. Okay, I don't need you, man. Kill, kill that giant spider. I'm working on it. You're not working on it fast enough. Now get behind it. You can't. What are you doing? I don't know. I, it won't let me get behind it. And now you just got hit, you dumbass. Well, that's because you're distracting me. Well, stop getting distracted. Okay, I don't need you micromanaging me, okay? Oh, really? Because after begging me to play the water temple for you, I'm gonna have to respectfully disagree. Well, that's because you were. Now keep running. Out. You got. Anyway, on to the review. This is... Fuck. <laughs> Barbie and the Magic of Pegasus! Barbie and the Magic of Pegasus! For some reason, I was thinking, this is My Little Pony. Pegasus, <laughs> the Magic of Pegasus. Why did I think that? I don't know! I'm not you! I just got stupid for a second. After they get freed from a trap set by... No, he was, it was not set by that guy. <laughs> really? You mean to tell me that this flame of courage refers to actual... I said courage instead of hope. It took them this long to realize that this flame of courage... The ah, fuck! <laughs> and you were doing so good too. I was doing so good! Wait. Really? You mean to tell me that this flame of hope is reversed? <sighs> I hate this. Okay, let's try that again. I kind of laughed there. Sorry. My throat hurts. Well, with all that said, I guess there's nothing else left to say about this movie. So, let's just end the review from there. So remember, everyone, they call me TKO, and I am fuck. <laughs> Our greatest challenge of this review is finishing it. <laughs> so remember, everyone, they call me TKO, and I'm Amy. Amy, my man. Why? And I didn't hang up there. Oh, oh, God damn it! Oh, my God! <laughs>